Avpoint is a software as a service company that's in the process of merging with the special purpose acquisition company or SPAC called Apex Technology Acquisition Corporation. That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Learn to invest like a wolf at your own risk. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Wolves of Investing. My name is Donnie Nguyen and I'm the founder of Wolves of Investing. If you're new, my channel is primarily about investing in the stock market. If you want to learn how to achieve financial freedom through investing, be sure to click on that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't yet. So this is a very hyped up SPAC merger between Avpoint and Apex Technology. The deal is expected to close in the first quarter of 2021. The ticker symbol is currently APXT. After the merger, Avpoint will be listed on the NASDAQ as AVPT. I actually heard about this deal because I owned a very small amount of the warrants before the announcement. After the announcement, my warrants spiked in price and I sold them for 61% gain in less than two months. I also work in IT, so this was a very interesting deal for me. In this video, I'm first gonna give a high level overview of Avpoint. Second, I'm gonna give my bull case for Avpoint stock as a long-term buy and hold investment. Third, I'm gonna give my bear case for the stock. Fourth, I'm gonna give you my five-year price prediction and fifth, I'm gonna give you my game plan for the stock and whether or not I plan to make a purchase. And before we get into it, please remember to drop a like on this video if you enjoy it, as it truly helps out the channel. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Avpoint was founded in 2001 by Kai Gong, who will continue to serve as executive chairman, and TJ Jang, who will continue to serve as CEO. Jeff Epstein and Brad Koenig from Apex Technology will join the board of directors. Avpoint's first product was a backup solution for Microsoft's Exchange email service. Today, it is a data management leader in the rapidly growing Microsoft Cloud Marketplace, with the expected total addressable market of $33 billion by 2022. They have over 1,300 employees in 29 global offices and approximately 7 million cloud users through 16,000 customer accounts. They are a five-time global Microsoft Partner of the Year winner. Their focus is on transformation, governance, and compliance. Organizations need help managing their data, and that's what Avpoint specializes in. Microsoft has a strong cloud market share of $48.4 billion in the last 12 months, and its market share continues to grow. Avpoint's goal is to serve as a bridge between what Microsoft Cloud offers and what business enterprises require. This slide shows all the services they offer in the areas of transformation, governance, and compliance. And this slide shows where Avpoint believes that they have an advantage over existing solutions. There are currently 250 million Microsoft 365 users, and they believe that can double to 500 million users in the future. Avpoint is the largest software as a service data management provider for Microsoft 365. They currently have a 3% market penetration with their 7 million users. They believe they can take 10% of the market, which would give them 50 million users. That would give them a 7x growth in number of users. Here's a list of Avpoint's customers spanning several industries. Their current net dollar retention rate is 106%. And they believe that they have several avenues for growth. Most of their revenues come from recurring revenues. And they have a good quarterly, year-over-year, -year, annual rate of return, ranging from a low of 18% in Q1 of 2019 to a high of 29% in Q2 of 2020. Their year-to-date, year-over-year revenue growth is 29%, from $51 million year-to-date in 2019 to $66 million year-to-date in 2020. They have zero debt and will have over $250 million in cash to invest in their growth. 
The year-to-date gross profit margin grew from 70% to 71%, and they even have positive earnings before interest and taxes year-to-date in 2020 of $4 million. This is very refreshing to see since many SPAC targets I look at don't even have revenues yet. Of the 212 software companies listed on the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ, only five of them have $150 million in revenue, over 25% revenue growth, and greater than 10% EBIT margin. Avpoint will join that exclusive group of companies. Post-transaction, Apex founder and private placement shares will own 3.3%. Apex public shareholders will own 17.6%. The pipe investors will own 7%. And the existing Avpoint shareholders will hold 72%. Post-transaction, there is expected to be 199 million shares outstanding. At its recent stock price of around $15 per share, the implied market cap of Avpoint is approximately $3 billion. Okay, so that was my high-level overview of Avpoint. Next, what is my bull case for Avpoint? First, they are a high-growth company in a growing market. Microsoft 365 is definitely growing its cloud market share. I do think that Avpoint can achieve around 30% annual revenue growth rates. They do have a proven track record of growing their revenues. The SPAC management team joining the board are all-stars. Jeff Epstein is the former CFO of Oracle. He has a track record of serving on the boards of high growth companies, such as Booking Holdings, which he joined when it was Priceline. Its market cap grew 80-fold in the 16 years he served on the board, from a market cap of $1 billion to $80 billion. He's also the lead director and chair of the audit committee at Twilio. The company had $4 billion market cap when he joined and currently has a market cap of over $50 billion. And Brad Koenig led Goldman Sachs global technology banking team for many years. And one of his first projects at Goldman Sachs was working on the Microsoft IPO. He continues to have close senior level relationships at Microsoft, which gives him very good insight into the future success of Avpoint. Another very important bullish case for Avpoint is that it will be the only publicly traded Microsoft Cloud partner. This is very important because public investors will have no choice but to invest in Avpoint if they want to allocate their portfolios to this space. Now, what is the bear case? The main bear case I have for Avpoint is competition. One of Avpoint's competitors is a private company called ShareGate. If we look at the Gartner Peer Insights for Cloud Office Migration Tools, Avpoint has four stars with three reviews, and ShareGate has four and a half stars with 37 reviews. If ShareGate or any of Avpoint's other competitors go public, some public investment could be diverted away from Avpoint stock. The second bear case I have is that Avpoint's success is directly tied to the success of Microsoft Cloud. If Microsoft fails, then so would Avpoint. I don't see this as a huge threat since Microsoft is killing it under Satya Nadella and just keeps growing its cloud presence. So what is my five-year price prediction for Avpoint? Avpoint currently has an estimated 2020 full-year revenues of $148 million. If they grow at 30%, which I think that they can, then that would give revenues of $550 million by 2025. A 5x price to sales multiple would give a market cap of $2.75 billion. A 10x multiple would give a market cap of $5.5 billion. A 15x multiple would give a market cap of $8.3 billion. And a 30x multiple would give a market cap of $16.5 billion. With its last closing share price of $15.31 on Monday and 199 million post-transaction shares outstanding, it has an implied market cap of around $3 billion. If it can fetch a 15x multiple in five years, it will give a return of approximately 170%. If it only grows at 20%, 
which is still very respectable, then the market cap at 15X price to sales would be $5.5 billion, which would still be a return of around 84% in five years, which is also a very respectable return. My five-year price target for AvPoint stock is approximately $41 per share, given the 15X price to sales multiple and 30% annual growth rate in revenues. So what is my game plan for AvPoint? Even though I like AvPoint's growth prospects, I'm gonna stay on the sidelines and keep it on my watch list for now. Like I said, I work in IT, so I am biased. I would have been a lot more excited about its competitor, ShareGate. Plus, I already own shares in software companies, Paycom and the Trade Desk. So my portfolio is getting a little crowded in this space. However, if for some reason the shares tank below $12 per share or the warrants go below $2, I will strongly consider getting in on a trade. So tell me what you think about AvPoint stock. Drop me a line in the comments. Be sure to leave a like on this video before leaving. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.